Hey guys, this is Dark Place Tales of Zila. Last time, stuff happened with Alvin, and we now don't trust his face. And we're going to continue our adventure. Apparently through craziness. Is it safe to leave Giselle behind? Oh, I assure you that I'm not the only one looking out for her. The house staff has served the Cheryl family for years, and the citizens of Sherylton are always supportive. It's all due to Lord Klein's fair leadership. It's not just that. Tressel works really hard to stay strong. She's so cool! No wonder she's Ellie's friend! Indeed. We are all quite proud of our young lady Cheryl. Let's all strive to make her as proud of us. No. Oh. Progress, I think. Alright, let's go into a few battles. See how well it goes. As I maybe not Out break it. <laughs> oh, I couldn't tell if I was actually. Can you stop? How unfortunate. Okay. Is fighting the only answer? Could do that. Press R1 in the middle of the battle to see what skills we have in the link. Oh, that sounds so romantic. I missed that whole conversation. This is oh, here we go. For some reason, sunsets always bring back memories from when I was little. For me, it's the ocean. The sound of crashing waves gets old memories flooding back. Interesting. Those have the same effect on me too. You have childhood memories? Of course I do. Doesn't everyone? I know I'd love to hear them. <laughs> well, if an opportunity presents itself, I'd be happy to share. If an opportunity presents itself? Like when? Hmm. Crashing waves at sunset? Alright, well, this episode's probably just gonna be us running around this area fighting everything. Just saying. Yeah, you guys should link art as well. Okay. An obvious outcome. Everyone's so proud of themselves. Oh, she's a ton of health. Right, well, let's keep running around. I'll see you back. Some money in it. Okay. 
I like how Jude is always so like, no, I don't want to kill everything. And we're all like, shh. It's okay. Right. Okay. Well, I tried to back attack it, but it didn't work out. I'm the only one who loves it. That's The body spins skyward, bathed in light, before it roars downward toward the earth with de deadly impact. Uh. Give it to us straight, Doc. How's Mila doing? I understand this Asperixis device is quite advanced. But I can't imagine it could have healed such a grievous wound in so little time. When I first applied the Asperixis, it caused such intense pain that she passed out. But now that she's more used to it, she can tolerate it, as long as she doesn't exert herself. Doesn't sound like she's ready for any kind of battle. <sighs> Sorry, I shouldn't give you such a hard time. It's not like Mila would let a little pain slow her down, right? Thank you for the explanation. We'll take the lead for a while, and give Mila time to rest. As long as I'm on the battlefield, I'm sure we'll get by. Thanks, guys. You're not on the battlefield. Mm -hmm. Like this, I can't help but think of dinner. Are we eating soon? What were all those notes that you gave to Mila? Notes? Uh, oh, those weren't notes. Those were free massage coupons. What? But why? Case closed. Just let it go already. Hey, Mila, what was in all those notes Leia gave you? Notes? Oh. Those were... Free massage coupons! Huh? Oh! Yes. They were free massage coupons. Perhaps I'll use one right now. Uh, one massage coming right up! Hmm. You sure are tense today! Am I? Hey, that... Hmm. Oh. Whoa. Massages are not bad at all. I know, right? 
What is going on with these two? <laughs> I bet one of the reasons why she wanted to come along is because she said she was in love with you. Ooh, colored sunglasses. Oh, I never did check out the... No, 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 no. Yeah, this. No, not there. There. I don't get it. Monkey King's headband. <laughs> no. Our group is going to be the cool group. <clears throat> oh, this is how we make progress. back. Your back hurts? Want me to give you a little therapeutic massage? No, oh, that's very generous of you. Don't coddle the elderly kid. It never ends well. But he's in pain. I am grateful for the sentiment, Jude, but I worry that your hands might not be strong enough. Perhaps a massage from a nubile young woman would be more effective. You mean me? Hmm. If I had the four, I'd have Ifrit bathe your back in flame to increase blood flow. Then have Gnome send tremors up and down your spine. That would clear it right up. But I suppose I could still do most of that with my own arts. Go ahead. Show me where it hurts. Oh, I'm fine, really. Aches and pains are old friends to a man my age. <laughs> Let's be moving on, then. Huh? You don't want the massage? See what I mean? Yeah. No more coddling. 
Are you ladies feeling well? Anyone need a break? I'm okay. You sure are friendly. I thought mercenaries were supposed to be gruff and scary. <laughs> That's just a stereotype. Although there certainly are a few like that. A true pro uses good manners and a kind demeanor to compensate for the job's shadier aspects. Huh. I guess Elvin would be even worse if he was rude as well as devious. <laughs> I suppose. Man, you really are cool if you can let comments like that roll off your back, little buddy. Right? Sass from stuffed animals, cheeky teenagers calling me little buddy. Nope, don't care one bit. Jeez, <sighs> oh, Alvin. I hate your face, but you're funny. I mean, I don't hate your face, but I don't trust your face. Because, I mean, seriously, you just, like, sold us out. I've never traveled this deep into Ajul before. Nor I. And Rashagal, very little is known about the interior regions of Ajul. Well, if anyone has any questions, fire away. I've actually come here a number of times. Because you have a girl in Ajul? I came for work, mind you. Work. But, sure, I may have met a few girls over the course of my duties. Not the most emphatic denial. Exactly what a small child should hear. Okay. Oh. I have I was gonna say, they just don't like to be linked, but then they linked, and I was like, never mind. This is the power of Maxwell. I think they look fabulous with the sunglasses. Oh, everyone else in my party leveled up. Alright! There's always room for improvement. His level up thing is weird. Yeah, I went the opposite direction. Now, how come he just hasn't. Oh well. I just want to check to see if she got all the other ones. Alright, see, she has two more, and hers is already expanded. How come yours hasn't? Jude's Lilium Orb thingy is upsetting me. So those two are exactly. expecting a message, Alvin? Huh? I've seen him using that bird to send letters before. To a woman, apparently. Sorry, folks, I'll be done in a jiff. Everyone, take five.
repay Mila. You gave something to Ivor a while back. Was it the thing you swiped from the laboratory? Yes, it was the Spyrex used to operate the Lance of Kresnik. That little thing? But shouldn't you keep it with you? No. In fact, it would be dangerous to get anywhere near the Lance of Kresnik with that Spyrex in hand. Oh, well, you know better than me. There is a problem, however. The channeling circle that bound and captured the four. I believe it was generated by that Spyrex. I will need to generate a channeling circle of equal power to release them. In other words, you'll need that Spyrex to save the four great spirits. I may need the four's power to destroy the Lance of Kresnik, too. The real question, then, is when should I retrieve the key from Ivor? Hey. Does that mean you can also use Spyrix to cast arts? It's not just for the Lance of Kresnik? Hmm. What's the simplest way to explain this? Remember the street lamps in Fenmont? People light them with spirit arts. It's a simple parlor trick. Even a child could do it. But what happens if more powerful spirit arts are required? Those require a powerful caster. Someone with a mana lobe of sufficient capacity. The greater the capacity, the more mana can be produced when using arts. That capacity is determined at birth. It's immutable. Precisely. That's one of the laws of reason and axia. But a Spyrex doesn't rely on the caster at all. A caster wielding a Spyrex can power anything. From a tiny street light to a gigantic object like the Lance of Kresnik. Mana capacity ceases to be a limitation. But that sounds really handy. It is handy. And that's precisely why it's so dangerous. With the Spyrex, anyone can wield arts potent enough to capture the Four. And anyone can use that power to kill others. Just as they plan to do with the Lance of Kresnik. I figured she was gonna tell Anyhow, him. we should get going. I figured she was gonna tell him about the... <coughs> The fact that Alvin knows more than he says. It's a pain, but I better try to bang out a letter. Let's see. Look, Alvin's writing another letter. My dearest, now that the interseasonals have blown their last, and the spirit climb has settled, my thoughts stray to you and your well-being. He's so formal. He's got to be writing to a woman. That reminds me, Jude. How come you didn't answer any of the letters I sent to you in Fenmont? I didn't know what I was supposed to say. You only ever talked about yourself. Also, your penmanship could use some work. I can't believe you! You blow me off and still have the nerve to complain! But I could barely even decipher them. You yank the pen so hard it tears the paper. Well, maybe I'll just copy you. Your cutesy little bubble letters are straight from a little girl's diary. What? Guys aren't allowed to write neatly? That's sexist. I'm not being sexist! That's exactly how it looks! Then you've proven my point. You are sexist. <laughs> I'll never run out of things to write about with these people around. Oy vey, oy vey. You seem to know a lot about golems. What was that you said about Earth spirits? Golems are artificial constructs created by the Rashigol army through Earth spirit channeling. They can only work within particular spirit climbs, but they're very powerful. Impressive. Isn't she smart? Although she did just hear all that from Rowan. So she's just the conductor's parrot. Elise learns spirit arts through intuition alone, so she hasn't made a proper study of the subject. However, once she learns something, her ability to recall it is quite impressive. I learned a lot of other things, too. Like Femmon is protected to the north and south by golems, and the Fezabel Marsh. It's an impregnable defense. Impregnable, huh? Can you tell me what that means? Uh, um, well... <laughs> Perhaps it's time we expand our lessons beyond just spirit arts. Why you gotta be so mean, Alvin? Just because she doesn't know what it means. Hey, Mila? Are you really Maxwell? I am. Had I not mentioned that yet? 
Having seen the strength of Mila's resolve, I have no trouble believing that to be true. So how come you look so normal? I have taken physical form by using the elements within a human body as a catalyst. But it has proven to be an irksome vessel with many limitations. So Mila is Maxwell in a human body. Well, it doesn't change who she is, right? Let's leave it at that. It's still a little scary. But... Haven't you always known Mila to be scary when she's angry about something? I guess that's true. Are they afraid of me? Or is that a sign of respect? Well, I suppose either will do. Wow. Wow. What the fuck is that? Peace out, bro. Peace out. Jump. Jump. I could have jumped. Yeah, she had three left. I'm still winning. Okay.
everything. He doesn't want to move everything. You know, I'll make sure to do that off camera so you guys don't have to watch me battle forever. about family disputes and more about us. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Okay, bye.